I hope you don't think we're going to be friends. I certainly won't be taking it easy on you tonight. Hello to you too. Figured we'd go hard in the ring since you're Team Raw and I'm Team SmackDown, but, uh, excuse me? Just because we both come from famous wrestling lineage doesn't mean we have anything in common. Sorry if I offended you in some way. Ugh. I have a lot of respect for your aunt. You, not so much. You're only here because you're cashing in on her legacy. But do your best not to make all of us second generation superstars look bad, okay? Though it's gonna be hard tonight when you're competing against me and the rest of Team Raw. Hey, nice to finally meet the EST of WWE. What? Isn't that you? <laughs> As in new S superstar in WWE. Ready to show Team Raw what's up tonight? You know it. That's exactly what I'm here to do. Now that's the confidence I like to hear. And remember, the rest of Team SmackDown has your back. Although, ideally, we would have at least met each other to get on the same page before today. Yeah, they said they were really trying to keep my debut a secret. I get it. I mean, the WWE Universe is going to lose their minds when they realize you're related to Justine. And don't think I'm not going to fangirl out and grill you after we win. You gotta tell me exactly what she's like. Listen, I love my aunt. I even spent summers traveling with her on tour growing up. But it's important for me to make my own mark in WWE. Hopefully I can do that tonight. You know the EST is all about standing out, so I understand completely. See you out there tonight. We got this. I can't say that was the debut we were hoping for. I don't know what happened out there. I wanted to make a name for myself based on my own talent. And you decided to do something showy, took your eyes off of what was happening, and let Charlotte blindside you. I'm sorry, I won't let it happen again. I got carried away. You did. Remember, you're here because you're good and you could be great. I wouldn't have any patience for Justine's brat, no talent niece, but don't expect everything to come all at once. You could have gone out there and had a solid match and that would have been enough, win or lose, but you bit off more than you could chew. Maybe you're right. Of course I'm right. I'm a WWE legend. I'll do my best at damage control. You're already off to a rough start with management. They weren't thrilled that you decided against wearing the tribute gear. Although maybe I can spin that since it wasn't exactly the performance they would have wanted to be associated with Justine's legacy. Actually worked out for the best. Nope, they'll just associate it with little old me. Already seen the chatter on social media. Great, you're worried about social media at a time like this? Get your head in the game. I'll see you at SmackDown and we'll take it from there. What was that about? I like to show off as much as the next person, but that was embarrassing. Don't talk to me like that. You certainly don't always have a perfect night. I'll talk to you how I want right now. You just spoiled the match for all of us. Don't expect this to blow over with the SmackDown Women's Locker Room. The Raw women are gonna rub this loss in our faces for a long time. Hey, welcome to SmackDown. Thanks. You know, after what Liv said at Survivor Series, I wasn't sure if I'd be getting the warmest welcome today. Oh, you won't be. But I have a different perspective than the rest of the girls. In fact, I'm actually usually pretty rude to the newbies because, well, I don't want them coming for my SmackDown Women's Championship, but I don't have to worry about you at all. But I plan on coming for that championship. <laughs> oh my goodness, you're hilarious. After your huge mistake in the Survivor Series match, I know that must have been a joke. 
I don't have to be rude to you at all. We can be friends. I think we're done here. LJ, welcome to SmackDown. How you doing? I'm sorry that Survivor Series didn't go so well. Yeah, not the debut I was hoping for. Well, you're here now, and have your whole career ahead of you. Listen, I may just be a cameraman, so I can't help train you, but I've been with WWE long enough that I pride myself on knowing how things work around here. Happy to answer any questions you might have. How do I get a match? Well, you'll want to talk to Molly first so she can let you know what management has in mind for you. But generally, I've found that matches in WWE, whether they come from management or not, get booked in one of two ways. Talking to people or checking your social media messages. What do you mean, talking to people? I mean just that. Aside from being booked by management, you'll find that chatting with other superstars, the crew, or even other backstage visitors can lead to opportunities. Sometimes people might have favors to ask of you, others might have bones to pick. You know how they say it's who you know? That's definitely true in WWE. Who you know and who you talk to. Huh. Seems so easy. It is. Don't try to put too much on your plate, though. You can always tell somebody who wants a favor no and come back to it later, or defuse a tense situation. But once you agree to something, you'll need to see it through. I understand. So take it one thing at a time. Makes sense. And the other way to get matches? You mentioned social media. I'm gathering I shouldn't try to go on a social media hiatus while I'm a WWE superstar? Definitely not. Even a dinosaur like me relies on that instrument of the devil. If you don't check your social media, both the public feed and your direct messages, you might miss out on opportunities. Not everything there will lead to a match, but it's worth keeping up with what the WWE Universe is up to. Okay, so check my social media feed and direct messages. Got it. Any other questions? Or anything you'd like me to explain again? How do I improve my skills around here? It's just like the old saying goes, practice makes perfect. The more matches and experience you have in WWE, the better. From there, it's usually up to you to determine how you want to apply what you've learned, whether it's improving your strength, getting better at submissions, or putting more power behind your punches. You get the idea. You said it's usually up to me what I want to improve? Sure is. Occasionally, you'll find that certain kinds of matches will benefit you in a more specific sort of way. But if that's the case, you'll know that going in. Sports entertainer insight, I call it. Okay, cool. Any other questions? Or anything you'd like me to explain again? Mm, what would you recommend in catering? Honestly, the tofu. Even if you eat meat, give it a try. The seasoning is incredible. Noted. Any other questions? Or anything you'd like me to explain again? Thanks, Tom. I think I have the info I need. Fantastic. Good luck tonight, LJ. I'm certain I'll see you around soon. What do you want? I told you my terms. Doesn't seem like you've paid any dues at all. Are you flying out for some exciting mocap action too? I am. This is going to be awesome! Do you think they'll let us keep the funny suits? I hope so. Oh, man, I am such a big fan of your aunt. I always dreamed of getting in the ring with her. Sorry you have to settle for getting into the ring with me, I guess. Sure, but you'll be doing all her moves, so it'll be pretty close. Why would I be doing all her moves? Because you're doubling for her? Did nobody tell you? Awkward. Yeah, they want us to give them some new combinations of moves for classic superstars. Fans love playing as WWE legends. Don't worry, you're gonna make a great Justine. I don't want to make a great Justine. I want to make a great me. 
we may be related, but we are totally different wrestlers. I'm trying to establish myself as my own person, not just a copy of her. I hear you. I guess they just think there's no one in the world who's watched more Justine matches than you, so no one could do her moves as well. That's why they asked me to double my close personal friend, Trish Stratus. I get it. It's just not what I thought I was signing up for. Don't worry, it'll be fun! We'll get out there, you'll hit a couple of Justine's classic moves, and everyone gets to go home happy. You'll make believe you're Justine, and I'll pretend I'm Trish. Maybe there's a love triangle. Or I just double-crossed you and cost you a championship shot. I don't know. We can workshop our backstory on the plane. <laughs> this is going to be a long flight. I hear the powers that be are conspiring to keep you off of SmackDown. <laughs> they certainly are. WWE management has it out for me. I, too, have often been the victim of several conspiracies, most foul. Hang in there. Us persecuted need to stick together. Thanks, Sammy. Looks like you were right about making a statement. That was a well-earned victory. No problem, Corey. I was happy to help. I'm just trying to show everyone what I'm capable of. Well, that was certainly a good start. How'd you like to give the trainers here another demonstration? What'd you have in mind? Nikita Lyons, Caden Carter, and Zaya Lee are coming to the PC for a social media shoot. But I know they'd love to get in some ring time while they're here. Sounds good. I can hang out for another day or so. I'm sure there's a decent hotel nearby. Who am I facing? That's up to you. But you won't need a hotel. They'll be here any minute. You up for another match right now? I never turn down a match. I've been trying to get ring time for a while now, so I guess this must be my lucky day. Great. Who would you like to face? I'll go up against Nikita Lyons. Sounds good. I'll let her know. See you out there. Well, I heard you're making some waves lately. Waves in the kiddie pool, but waves nonetheless. Mm, maybe, but I didn't come to WWE to be in the kiddie pool. Didn't say that you did. Just like I didn't come to WWE to be pushed as the next big thing, only to be ultimately set aside and fired. Why did you bring up being fired? Is this supposed to be making me feel better? Sorry that way, but admittedly it took a turn. Sorry, I, I should have been more clear. I expected everything to be handed to me, but you're doing the work. Don't let up. Those waves you're making will be noticed. Hey, what's up? I was actually hoping to see you around here. You were? Yeah, I loved watching old clips of your aunt on the network when I was growing up. But it was so cool when you debuted at Survivor Series and made it your own. I'm all about that. <sighs> Would have been cooler to win. What are you doing at SmackDown? NXT 2.0 doesn't take up enough of your time? Just doing some photo shoots and a little press. Honestly, it's been nice to be backstage at a show where I don't have to keep a lookout for toxic attraction. Not that I can't stand up for myself, but it's exhausting. Want some help? If you're offering, yeah. Honestly, I think they're just jealous. They may be hot and talented, but they could never do what I do. For one, they'd fall off the skateboard. You don't mind coming to NXT 2.0? Not at all. It's not like I'm spread too thin with all my matches on SmackDown. I've got some good news for you. You've actually got a match for me this week? Actually, yes. Wow, I wasn't expecting that kind of good news. Thank you. I should clarify. It's not on SmackDown, but at a non-televised live event. 
Dana Brooke was supposed to have a match, but she did one too many handsprings, sprained her wrist, and can't compete this weekend. A match is a match, and if it helps me win a little favor around here to step up, count me in. Winning the match would help you gain even more favor. I know you're having a bit of a rough start, but it's like I always say, work hard, treat people fairly, and earn respect. Speaking of, if you'd like an opportunity to get some work in, I know someone who can put you through the ringer at the PC. Ever since she had to do a WWE decathlon during her PC training, she's loved giving newbies the same treatment. Hey, I've been looking for you, but I haven't seen you around the locker room. You have? Honestly, I haven't had a reason to be in the SmackDown locker room before now. Yeah, I've been wanting to apologize for what I said to you at Survivor Series. I think I was a little harsh. <laughs> you were maybe just a little harsh, but nothing I can't handle. You made a mistake. Something I've done a few times in my career. Heck, I even crashed a wedding once. Not my proudest moment, but when you're in the thick of it, sometimes it's easy to get carried away. Anyway, I shouldn't have said everyone on SmackDown was mad at you. You weren't mad? Oh, we were. But if we stayed mad at every loss, no one would ever be friends. So I'm sorry. And I'm excited for your match tonight. As far as I'm concerned, you should have won that first one too. You had Ava on her heels. You watched our first main event match? Of course. Though, if you're gonna try something when the rev's down, you gotta work on your timing a little bit. Fair enough. Good luck out there. You've done a decent job proving you belong on the roster and shedding the memory of that Survivor Series match. But you want to really prove WWE made the right hire? Try proving you're not only better than any of the other superstars on the roster, but you're better than two of them combined. Hey, want to get dinner after the show tonight? Yeah, I ended up in town to shoot some podcast tie-ins. Why do you look so annoyed? Can't. Apparently I'm babysitting for Lacey Evans. Really? I didn't even know you were friends. We're not. Long story. Thought I was filling in for her in a match. Turns out I'm filling in watching her kids. She says she'll help me get a match, though. Any way to get a match is a good one. Nothing wrong with doing someone a favor. Of course, there is another option. I'm listening. Oh, you could always just not show up. Then there would be someone looking for an opponent. Lacey wouldn't be happy, though. I don't want to mess with someone's home life, even if Lacey essentially tricked me into helping her. I'll babysit. Who knows? Maybe I'll even have fun. Probably for the best. Don't let them push you around. I think I can handle a few kids. You'd be surprised. Okay, now that we've had it out in the ring, can you agree not to message me anymore? What are you talking about? I don't think I've ever messaged you. Right, fine. Then can your anonymous burner accounts stop messaging me? I don't have anonymous burner accounts. You were the one messaging me and asking me all those questions. No, I wasn't. Let me guess. You got a bunch of random messages from an account who wouldn't leave you alone, and when you told them to stop, they said they'd meet you in the ring before Raw? Pretty much. I traveled all the way here just to make it stop. I did think it was weird for you to mess with me after I helped you on NXT 2.0. Looks like we both got played. 
Great. So that match brought us no closer to getting this person to knock it off. <sighs> hey, did they ask you what your favorite smell is? No? Great, so that was just me. Well, let me know if you find out who it is. I want to take this person out. Same, and I will. You're not the only one looking to improve their street cred. I'm trying to get better at editing my own footage. Only problem is, so many matches are so quick it's hard to get enough content to really experiment with. Maybe you could do me a solid and face someone in a two out of three falls match? Then I'd really... I'm sure you heard the latest episode of my podcast. I was wondering if you had any response to Tamina's comment saying you have fear in your eyes? According to her, even in the ring, you're looking to escape. Or better yet, how about you two have a match without leaving the ring? I don't know about you, but I desperately need a vacay. Sun, sand, margs, and if a superstar wanted to join me and maybe have a match for research, I could get WWE to pick up a tab. So any interest in doing a little work south of the border? First round's on me. Cheerio, LJ. Cheerio? Are you binge watching another British costume drama? Well, yes, always, but no. WWE is planning another Queen's Crown tournament, and this time they're really getting into the spirit of love for a monarchy. It's happening overseas at NXT UK. Well, that's pretty cool. You going over to cover it for Ruthless Digressions? Hey, pick me up one of those Royal Guard outfits, would you? No, I can't make the trip. But I was thinking you might. The spots have mostly been decided, but I've got an old friend over there, Tavish, and he can pull some strings and get you into the tournament. What are you still standing here for? Go pack your bags and grab your passport. Unless you've got something better to do. Sounds smashing. I'll go pack. Oh, I think I need one of those plug things to make the electricity work. Yeah, a voltage adapter. You can buy one at the airport. I'll tell Tavish you're coming. He promised to look after you while you're there. Oh, and do try to return with a crown, your majesty. Indubitably. Ah, there she is. I couldn't miss you if I tried, LJ. You're the spitting image of your aunt. Really? Well, not so much how you look, but you both have a similar quality, I suppose. Maybe it's a smell, something familiar. Yeah. Oh, wait, I think it's just me. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, welcome to England. Thank you. And thank you so much for helping make this happen, Tavish. Ah, it was nothing, love. I owe your aunt a favor or two and a fair bit of money, if I'm being honest. But that's neither here nor there. Since I'm helping coordinate the tournament, it was no skin off my back to get you in. And everyone's absolutely chuffed your ear. Really? Because I got a message from Zelina about someone named Beth Spartan. Duh, I was hoping that wouldn't be an issue. There was going to be a spot in the tournament for a local UK competitor. But when NXT UK management heard you were interested in entering, with a little persuasion from yours truly, they decided to give it to you instead. Beth Spartan was sure she was going to get it. I didn't mean to bump anyone, Tavish. No, 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 you didn't. No, really. I don't think it would have gone to Beth anyway, but turns out that people kind of think you used your aunt's connections to get a shot at the crown, which, fair play to them, is pretty much exactly what happened. So you're saying I've got a target on my back? I wouldn't say a target, love. Just a marker. Scorn, maybe? But keep your head on a swivel. You're facing Sonya Deville first, and she's not a huge fan of nepotism. Well, well, well. You're lucky that I'm not running this tournament. We're all lucky you're not running this tournament. 
because then you just figure out a way to give yourself the crown and we'd have all wasted a trip. At least every contestant would deserve to be here. Don't act like you wouldn't have done the same thing. I plan on winning this tournament and I have to be in it to win it. <laughs> Whatever. I guess it's up to me to send you back home because that's where you belong. Good luck with that, Sonia. Nice work against Sonia last week, LJ. Ruddy strong performance. I uh, reckon you saw you facing Zelina tonight, eh? You ready? Definitely. She talks a big game, but I can handle her. Yeah, about that. Uh, I get the impression it might not just be her tonight. I hear she's bringing out a friend with her. Beth Spartan. You know, the bird who spot you nicked. You mean the woman whose spot you offered me? Yeah, I hardly feel like we need to debate semantics. My point is, some people might suggest you uh, strike first and take Beth out before she can be a factor. Some people, or you? Me? No, I would never suggest something so underhanded. I like to play things with a straight bat. But some people, maybe those not involved in the tournament and who wouldn't be worried about accusations of favoritism, would have different ideas. After you got me an entry, I think we're past all that already. But, for argument's sake, would these some people suggest I, what, ambush her backstage before the match? Yeah, something like that. Now, some blokes might say it's unnecessary and you'd be putting a bigger target on your back, but I say you do what you must to win. You mean the some people suggesting I attack her say that? Right, right, not me. Obviously. I'm giving myself a bit of a headache. I need to lie down. So, do you know what you're gonna do? I don't see a need to stoop to Zelina's level. I can take on her and anyone she wants to bring out to intimidate me. I'll play it straight. And when she loses her shot at the crown tonight, at least she'll have a friend to console her. I love the confidence. Go make it happen. Now that was a proper victory. <laughs> Selena wasn't ready for what you were bringing. Maybe next time she'll spend more time training and less time running her mouth. It did feel really good to knock her out of the picture. Don't lose focus. Still got one more match and Bianca Belair standing between you and Queen's Crown Glory. You're right. I've got to remain focused. And at least right now, I know that I can turn all my attention towards Bianca and stop worrying about Zelina and Beth. Take care of Bianca, and no matter what anyone says, you'll head home as royally. I mean, not in an official sense, but you do get to keep the crown. I think. I'll ask. But I still wouldn't count on Zelina and Beth to put all the mucking about behind them, though. You might want to keep an eye out for any tomfoolery. Head, swivel, got it. Congratulations, your majesty. <laughs> You'll forgive me if I don't bow. At my age, if I go down, I might never get back up. As long as you're doing it in spirit. <laughs> Quite right. So how does it feel? Like the crown was made to sit on my head. I knew I deserved to win, but I'm glad that now everyone has to agree. I'm a little surprised Zelina didn't try anything more. I guess she was as scared to cross me as she is annoying. I agree. I expected more from Zelina, some kind of tomfoolery. Oh, speaking of, there was a small incident in the lockers during your match. Don't look like anything's been nicked, but someone silly stringed everyone's bags. Huh. Dumb prank, but guess it's someone's idea of a good time. Weird. Are you heading straight back to the States, or are you gonna hang around a bit? I know some folks at my local would love to shake hands with the Queen. Or at least a Queen. 
I've got to get back. Maybe next time? I'll hold you to it, love. Have a nice flight. I'm sure you're disappointed with that loss, but this is probably for the best. That's what you told me after John Buckley asked Jackie Ollier to prom instead of me. And I was right then, too. That John Buckley was bad news. He's an anesthesiologist now with a massive house outside of San Diego. And who wants to live there? Look, just like back then, this frees you up to focus and get to the level we both know you're capable of reaching. Yes, yes, I know. So no more 24-7? Fine. For now. You'll thank me later. What do you want? Oh, no, 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 no. I hope you're not going to ask me about teaming up. As one half of the first ever women's tag team champions, I understand why you'd want to, but the answer is no. What are you talking about? Are you really so out of the loop? Ding dong, hello. All anyone who's anyone is talking about are the rumors that management is going to have a tag team money in the bank ladder match. Whoever wins the briefcase gets a contract they can cash in for a tag team championship match. You get all that, you dummy? I get why everyone's talking about it. That's some interesting gossip. Wait a dang nab second here. You're not planning on entering, are you? Yeah, I think I am. <laughs> Sorry, I just needed a laugh. Everyone in this locker room is acting like they've never heard of a tag team money in the bank match before. <laughs> you have? No, but my point is that I could have. I've been around WWE so long that I'm not thrown by anything new that management introduces. I am, after all, the most winning woman in all of WWE. Anyone would be lucky to team with me. <laughs> Speaking of, do you have a partner? No, but I'm looking for one. Interesting, because I've already succeeded at what you're trying to do, winning the tag team titles, not to mention the SmackDown Women's Championship. We could make quite a splash, a former and future champion with an up and coming legacy superstar. And it won't be my first Money in the Bank match either. I doubt you'll find anyone else to partner with who has my level of experience. I hear you. Experience is important. Teaches you what to expect in the ring and what to avoid. I knew you'd get it. And I'm happy to share it all with you if you decide you want to give our partnership a go. Solid pitch. I'll get back to you. Of course it's solid. Like I said, I know this company like the back of my record-breaking hand. I'm sure you heard about the tag team Money in the Bank match, right? I would be lying if I said I'm not intrigued. I'm pretty interested too. Winning the first ever tag team Money in the Bank would be very cool. Do you have a partner? Mm, not yet. Do you? I'm also looking. We can make a great team. I know I have a rocky history with tag team partners, but I think our shared perspective could be pretty powerful. <laughs> and what's that? Standing in someone else's shadow instead of your own. I could never help shake the feeling that I was playing back up to someone else in my previous tag teams. I may not have a tag team history here, but with my family's legacy, I can certainly relate to that. I thought you might. And I think it's important for tag team partners to understand each other. Anyway, if you want to team up, let me know. This is all so exciting. A Money in the Bank briefcase with a tag team championship contract? Sign me up. Fanny, I thought you were still at NXT. But are you trying to enter the Money in the Bank match? Uh, do you have a partner? 
I am at NXT, but no rule said I can't compete for those tag team titles. I'm looking for a partner. I want to team up with someone who's as excited about this as I am. You know, with raw ambition. Honestly, I think that's what got me to WWE in the first place. Wanting it so badly. I wasn't always as good in the ring as I am now. I get that. Sometimes it's what makes the difference and gets you the win. I'm ambitious too. I heard they asked you to wear your aunt's gear for Survivor Series, but you decided to make your debut on your own terms. <laughs> that took guts. I respect that. If you're looking for a partner, I'd love to team up. I'll get back to you. How go the trials and tribulations of a WWE superstar who's looking for true tag team partnership love? Huh? Never mind. How's it going, kid? I know from the chatter around here that you've got options, but I hope you're weighing them carefully. In success, a tag team partner is someone you'll be spending a lot of time with. It's actually how I first got to know your aunt. Yeah, I've actually been trying not to bring that up. I know it's a sore subject all around. Yeah, probably for the best. But it's also a great example of what can happen if you don't choose your partner wisely. Although, after we broke up, our past definitely did fuel our matches against each other. It made it better that we had actual history. Any advice? How do I choose? Decide what you think is most important in your partner. It's different for everyone. Do you want a team with someone who shares your values and perspective? Maybe you want a partner who's as ambitious and driven as you are. Or perhaps it's someone whose experience can help push you to your full potential. Anyway, lots of factors to consider. I think I have an idea of who I'm going to ask. Oh? I want to tag with someone with a proven track record and experience that can make me even better. I've made my decision. I'm asking Natalia to be my tag partner. Interesting choice. I'll set you up for the first qualifying match tonight. You know what? I think we work better as a team when you stay out of my way. I actually agree with you on that front, because that means you're away from me, too. Why did you even enter that fatal four-way? You knew winning would mean teaming up with me. And give up the chance to be a tag team champion? Even my dislike of you can't sour my thirst for those titles. Fine. Then let's not get in each other's way against whoever Molly has lined up for us. Then we should decide who's going for the pin, just so there's no confusion. I can be a team player. You should go for the pin. Fine. I will. So I've been thinking about how to handle my cash-in for a tag team championship match. Again with this my thing. We both won the Money in the Bank ladder match, and we should both get a say in how to cash it in. What? Are we supposed to decide by committee? Hold a vote or something? That sounds fair. How's that gonna play out? I vote for my way and you vote for yours? Besides, Holding the Money in the Bank briefcase isn't just about being skilled in the ring. It's about being sneaky, too. Leveraging the briefcase to cash in when your opponents are off their game. I don't think you have that in you. When I was down on main event, you couldn't even take advantage of that opportunity. I can be sneaky. No, I can see it now. You walk up to the champs, politely tap them on the shoulders, and respectfully challenge them to a match. You're too much of a good girl, LJ. You need to be willing to play dirty. I can play dirty when I want to. Then prove it. Take someone out when they don't expect it. Then, you and I can negotiate how we cash in the briefcase. Fine, I'll do it. Not that I have anything to prove. Happy now? See, I can be surprising. I don't have to always play by the book. 
The apology on social media after the fact really drove home how much of a threat you are. I just wanted her to know I didn't have anything against her. I did what you asked, so let's figure out this cash in. Fine. I've got to head out now, but get your lame thoughts in order and we'll talk about it next week. Ugh, you're the worst. Tough break, LJ. But a deal's a deal. You weren't able to beat my time. I've got a plan to cash in the briefcase. When you're ready to make a move and go for it, let me know. Fair is fair. Will do. Ready to cash in the briefcase for our tag team championship match? I've got a great idea. I'm ready. No time like the present to become champions, right? I don't know what you have in mind, but as the first ever tag team briefcase holders, we need to make our cash in memorable. Something the WWE Universe will be talking about for years to come. I could not agree more. I don't want to just win the championships. I want us to be in the WWE Best Money in the Bank cash in highlight video. You won the right to decide how we cash in. So, what's the plan? Remember how we lost the briefcase to Shotzi and Raquel? How could I forget? Let's do it again, but this time on purpose. Would be a shame if anyone thought Asuka and Tamina stole it. Could give an enterprising tag team an opportunity to strike. Especially if they found some extra security guard uniforms lying around. Hmm, sounds a bit silly, which is exactly the sort of thing you'd see in a best of video. Precisely. And the best part of that best of moment, when it's over, we'll be walking out tag team champions. Hey, I'm, I'm working on something. I don't know if you'd have any interest, but you do strike me as someone who's desperate to grow your fan base. <laughs> Why are you always trying to cause trouble, Sonia? Somehow, I don't think whatever this is is something I want to be involved with. At least not with you. I I'm, I'm not being mean. Why do people keep thinking I'm trying to start something when I'm just trying to be nice? Sorry, it's just your wording, your attitude. To be honest, everything about you. Whatever. Look, we may be WWE superstars, but I want to give back by putting on a show specifically for up-and-coming talent. I'm working with LAW to set up some matches, raise some money for them, and maybe even mentor the next generation a little. That's a good thing, right? And I wanted to know if you were interested in getting involved and having a match there. That does sound like a good thing. Who am I fighting? And what's in it for you? I'd set you up against an indie wrestler, Geneva Rose. And maybe I just like helping people. Obviously, I need work on letting people see that side of me. So what do you say? Honestly, I'm still totally skeptical of your motives, but I'm on board for the next generation of wrestlers coming up. Great, I'll send over some paperwork for you to sign before your match, and then you can even deduct some stuff on your taxes, just like you do for charity. See you there. Wait, are you doing this for a tax break? Thanks for doing this, the crowd loved it. You're welcome. And I have to say, it looks like I was wrong about you. You put together a good event. That was surprisingly fun. LAW seems like a good place to grow talent. I'm glad to hear that, because you just earned yourself a match against Odyssey Rift. 
for the LAW championship. I'm not trying to win an LAW title. I came here for your event, that's all. Are you sure you don't want the match? I have to be honest, after getting a taste of being a WWE official, before it was unfairly taken away from me, I realized that I really like power. The power to broker matches for LAW? The power to run LAW and turn it into a legitimate rival of WWE. And this is the first step. I told you I was trying to raise money and support up and coming talent. That could be you. I'm happy on SmackDown. And I'm pretty sure you can't run LAW while under contract with WWE. Who knows? But I'm willing to bet WWE won't be happy if they find out you signed a full contract with LAW yourself. I didn't. <laughs> the only thing you didn't do was read that paperwork I sent over for you to sign. <laughs> That's fraud. Mm, sounds to me like breach of contract. Good luck enforcing that. I doubt I'll have to enforce anything. Once Odyssey Riff finds out you're refusing to face her. <laughs> I don't have time for this, Sonya. I did your event, and now I have to get back to SmackDown. Looks like someone made Odyssey Rift pretty angry. <laughs> I know you snuck her into the arena, Sonya. And you crossed the line. You really think you can come onto WWE turf with nonsense from another promotion? <laughs> when they find out what you're doing. What are you going to do? Tell on me? Don't forget, I'm not the only wrestler under contract with LAW now. I can handle my business to both. You, <laughs> I'm not so sure about. That contract you tricked me into signing is not enforceable, and you know it. <laughs> I'm not worried about any legality. As long as I have Odyssey Rift as my enforcer, she's not going to let this go until you face her in the ring. Neither will I, but I'm a reasonable woman. You want your freedom? Take us both on and give me a marquee LAW main event. On what condition? Make it a your hired match. What? It's like a your fired match in reverse. Loser has to sign a real ironclad contract with LAW. I'm confused. I thought you wanted out of your contract. I do, but I want rid of you too. And I don't intend on losing. When I beat you, the new contract you sign with LAW will be exclusive with a sizable non-compete clause, meaning your WWE days will be officially behind you. <laughs> You're pretty cocky when you want to be, huh? Can't wait to have that attitude fully in the LAW family. <laughs> and I can't wait to watch you sign your WWE career away. I am so glad to see you. The whole vibe you've got going on lately, it's great, love it, love it so much. In fact, I've got a little proposal for you. With that build up, I'm more scared than excited, but go ahead. What's your idea, Sammy? Last night, I was reflecting on my many successes and how I can multiply those successes into a cavalcade of success when it hit me, like an absolute explosion of brilliance in my brain. You and I should hook up. Wow, hard pass. And I think you might have the worst game I've ever seen. No, 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 no. Not like hook up, hook up. I mean, we can let the rubes think what they want, but I'm saying, how great would it be to have an extra ally on the roster? 
And that ally would be you? Exactly. Look, you've got a match coming up, right? Yeah. Maybe I could be out there for support. Just to put a little toe in the water. A little Sammy baby toe in there, just to check the temp. I guess it couldn't hurt, but I want to be clear this is purely platonic. I don't want to hear any more descriptions of your feet. Great! See you there. I have got a really good feeling about this. Have you seen the web? The buzz is a buzzin'. People are debating, hating, speculating. This, this is good. This is really good. It does seem like everyone's talking and they're assuming things. We need to let them know we're not an item and are just working together in the ring. What? No, let people keep guessing. That's how you build interest. People get invested in a relationship. Will they, won't they? We won't, Sammy. But the WWE Universe doesn't know that. Point is, we could be the next power couple. We could get our own show like The Miz and Maurice. They're actually married. Are they? Or is that just what they want you to think? We'll never know. I'm just saying maybe we can post something a little cryptic. Maybe just a photo of us together. Then sit back and let the gossip jackals feed. Fine, but only so you shut up about this. And maybe because I do appreciate the attention. Keep it vague and don't expect me to comment with a bunch of heart emojis or something. Friends and allies can use heart emojis too, but fine, we'll keep it mysterious. That was great, huh? You've got some nerve coming up to me after ambushing me like that. What were you thinking? Just trying to convince you to leave my fake boyfriend alone. Duh. But Sammy is my fake boyfriend. Wait, what am I saying? I figured out what you and Sammy are trying to do and I want in. You're getting so much attention. So I decided that your fake relationship made me fake jealous. And you real attacked me? Sammy said you'd be chill with it. Of course he did. You know he's married, right? Of course. I don't want a real relationship any more than you do. Ill. You have some serious explaining to do. Sorry, sorry. I meant to give you the heads up. Unfortunately, Liv found you before I could. But wasn't it neat? Two women fighting over me, Sammy Zane? I'm over this fake relationship, Sammy. We're fake done. No, don't leave me. Especially not when I've just set up a no DQ match between you and Liv for my affection. You want Liv and me to fight for you in the ring? Of course I do. What do you think I'm above flipping antiquated gender norms in a silly but totally good for my personal publicity sort of way? I don't think you're above anything, Sammy. Right? Personally, I wanted to be on a pole for the match, but that's where management drew the line. You'll just have to settle for me being in your corner when you fight Liv. For me. Me, Sammy Zane. I'll do the match, but if I win, I'm dumping you, Sammy. All's fair in love and WWE, but don't expect Liv to play nice. She's almost as into the attention as I am. I guess watch me is more than just a catchphrase for her. Well, if there's one thing people say about me, it's that I am a man of my word. Consider our fake romantic liaison over. Good, and for the record, I dumped you. I mean, for now. People are really invested in us, and so in a few months when we reconcile, people are going to be eating it up. Right. Whatever, Sammy. See you around.
Bailey's not only relaunching Ding Dong Hello, she's retooling it and planning to release it weekly to compete with The Bump. Now, not that I can't beat her in viewers, but she's clearly doing it just to get under my skin. Can you get under her skin first before she makes this into a ratings war? We have enough of those in this business. You know I'm not one to gossip, except when I hear what superstars say when they don't realize they're still on mic. Indy Hartwell and Lacey Evans were talking about you, and Indy was all, I don't reckon her finisher is all that strong. And Lacey said, I don't know about that, Indy. Then Indy said, my finisher is so much stronger, and everybody knows it. So, do you feel like getting in the ring and seeing who can finish the match first? Hey, I'm interviewing superstars about their favorite WWE matches ever for a special on the bump, and I was wondering if we could chat. Sure, why not? Happy to help with all bump-related needs. So what's your favorite Justine match? Why do you assume my favorite match ever is a Justine match? Isn't it? Besides, it's much more fun for our viewers if you talk about your legend aunt. Gotcha. Well, if you insist on me talking about Justine... I do. Was there anyone you especially loved to see her take on? Actually, there was a match with Molly Holly from Raw I watched on repeat growing up. The crowd was on fire, the back and forth drama was insane, and Justine pulled off one hell of a victory. I'd love to interview you about it. Do you think you can remember what episode it aired on so I can pull some clips for the bump? I'll see what I can do. Hey, I saw your interview on the bump with Kayla. Pretty wild to see those clips too. I remember that victory fondly. I had a good time on the show. Kayla was pretty insistent that I talk about you. Eh, what can I say? I draw ratings. I was a little surprised you chose that match, though, for as resplendent as my win was. Really? It was good, just not my personal favorite. What's yours? I'm not sure if there's just one, but it would be any match I had with China, facing her with something really special. Honestly, I was probably a little jealous, which added some extra fire to my fight. Jealous? Of China? Why? Well, there was that whole period where management let China do basically whatever she wanted. Enter the Men's Royal Rumble, compete for the Intercontinental Championship. You know, stuff the guys always took for granted. Her IC title win was pretty epic. She was fierce against anyone she faced, myself included. In fact, for all my confidence, I was never sure when I was fighting her if I was going to come out on top. You know, I should probably get Kayla footage of one of my China matches. I'm sure she'll appreciate it. You were supposed to lose. And you were supposed to be better. This might be a good time for some introspection. Thanks to you, the energy drink company is ghosting me. If I lose a sponsorship deal, you're going to owe me a lot of money. Bailey, I'm not the one who lost the match. And I'm also not the brand rep who's not calling you back. Or the brand rep who just sent me two cases. What? They sent some to you? <laughs> Looks like there's a new hot spokeswoman. This is ridiculous. We're getting back in the... Wait a second. Did you say hot? They didn't send you the hot ones, did they? No. Maybe. They sent you two cases of the Extreme Force? Extreme has five X's. Those extra X's make it extra hot. This is a travesty. We're getting back in the ring. I'm getting my sponsorship back. Those are my cases. Mine. And yet they have my name on them. If you'll excuse me. I've got a match against Indy Hartwell, and I'd like to get extreme beforehand. <laughs> Unlike you, I plan on making my new sponsors proud.
Impressive victory. Level with me, though. You're always great in the ring, but seemed like something was different. What got into you out there? My new sponsor is Energy Drinks. Are you sure there wasn't any contact info on the cases that were dropped off? I want to thank them for making me unstoppable. No, nothing. I was actually going to tell you. I've been trying to keep an eye on your cases, but someone's gotten into your stash. There's almost an entire case missing. Mm, no, that's just me. They're pretty good once you get used to them. No address or anything? What? You've got to at least slow down on these things. I'm fine, Tom. Fine! Okay, jeez. Don't bite my head off. Sorry. I'm probably just irritable because I'm thirsty for more delicious energy. Maybe I'll try posting to see if they'll send me some more drinks. Or at least tell me how to thank them. LJ, how much of those energy drinks have you had? You've only got two cans left. You need to lay off this stuff. I'm sure another shipment will arrive soon. Maybe or maybe not. Do you even know who this company is? What's to know? It's free and it's for me. Whoever's behind this company has great taste. Though the drinks do kinda taste like motor oil. You're gonna drink more of it before your next match, aren't you? <laughs> of course I am. I'm drinking both cans. Then I'm going out there and earning myself another case or two. Billy's not gonna know what hit her. I hope you know what you're doing. OMG! Look who it is. One half of the women's tag team champions. My partner. Hello to you too, partner and fellow tag team champion. Isn't it wild how far we've come? You used to hate me. Hey, we've been over this. I didn't hate you. I just resented you and hated everything I thought you stood for. Ah, yes. Totally different. But water under the bridge. Feels easier to get along when we're champs. Speaking of, as champions, how should we kick off defending our titles? Why not hold an open challenge? Seems a good way to show the WWE Universe that we mean business when it comes to defending our gold. I love it, partner and fellow champion. Okay, that's starting to get old. Yeah, I regretted it as soon as I said it. What did the trainer say? I'm okay. They said I'd be out for about a week, but nothing serious. That's frustrating, but it could have been a lot worse. Didn't expect the Bellas to be ready for us at all. Maybe we underestimated them. Just a little bit. Take care of business until I'm back, okay? I certainly will. There's two of them, but at the end of the day, they're just the Bella Twins. Crazy that only one week out of action has made me this fired up to get back in the ring. Good. Use that fire against Natalia. Actually, I wanted to talk to you. We certainly need to take care of the Bella Twins. But I'm not sure I would have gone so hard on them on social media in the first place. Justine's been telling me all about what she went through with the Divas nonsense. How the Divas division changed WWE for her. For all women, really. Listen, no disrespect to your aunt, but I kind of see where Natalia's coming from. I think she has a point. Maybe you're right. I did see her point when Natalia talked about hustling for opportunities. We can both relate to that. But that doesn't mean I don't want to take down the Bella Twins. Oh, me too. And it'll be an epic takedown. Besides, there's no use debating the past. Not when we can defeat all four of them and also have a little fun in the present. I can't wait. This is about our tag team championships anyway, not my aunt's grievances. Sorry if- Uh, speaking of, 
Look who just turned up. Did you know your aunt was coming tonight? I did not. I'll see what's up. You feeling ready for your match tonight? Ava and I are good to go. Uh, what are you doing here? I'm here to put a stop to any divas, naturally. And if Natalia and Beth want to take on that mantle tonight, that includes them. You mean watch us do that? Sure, that's what I meant. And I'll be in your corner. That's great. Thank you. Believe me, it'll be my pleasure. Great match! Great defense! And it doesn't hurt that your performance sent those Bella Twins packing. <laughs> Hope we don't see them again. I know you have history with them, but they didn't seem so bad. Besides, Ava and I took care of them. Take a moment to celebrate and relish the victory. But don't forget that the real work is just beginning. I understand. Just because we defeated the Bella Twins doesn't mean there aren't more women coming for our tag team championships. That's not exactly what I meant. Keep defending the tag titles, but you'll be ready to go for a singles championship soon. That should be your real goal. Get a few more rivalries under your belt and keep establishing yourself. Then we'll talk next steps. Enjoying your tag title reign? I'd say so. Still getting used to hauling the hardware, but the extra baggage fees are worth it. Glad you think so. It's time to start doing the work. Fanny and Josie Jane have earned themselves a tag team title opportunity. Really? I can't say I saw that coming, both the title shot and the pairing, but that's pretty impressive for them. Apparently, they bonded one night over Poutine and have been winning a fair number of matches together over on NXT. Are you and Ava willing to put your titles on the line and take them on? Yeah. No offense to them, but that seems like an easy test. If we're not willing to take on Josie and Fanny, we might as well give these titles back. I'll set something up on SmackDown, but don't take anything for granted. Like I said, they've been winning a lot of matches. We're reshuffling parking assignments and creating a new VIP section. No, you're not in it. But it does mean some folks are getting better spots. I was going to give my last one to Dana Brooke since seniority used to mean something, but apparently somebody's aunt thinks it should go to you. I was able to convince the higher-ups to at least let Dana fight you for it, if you want it. Someone in the promo department got a little carried away with alliteration and started advertising a tag team tables turmoil match. They already put it up on social media without even asking anyone that books the card. Can you and Ava do me a solid? Non-title, of course. Hey, did I hear that you and Ava are defending your tag titles at day one? Actually, I'm trying to get into the fatal four-way for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Oh, my mistake. <laughs> that would be great for you. Hey, can I ask you something? How did you make it work with the rest of New Day when you went after King of the Ring? What do you mean? They didn't resent you? Resent me? <laughs> they supported me. Just like I supported Kofi Mania and Big E when he won Money in the Bank and the WWE Championship. When one of us wins, we all win. I guess I get that. You know what they say. The whole is sometimes greater than the sum of its parts. And being in the New Day is all pluses. You can take that math right to the bank. You've had some interesting experiences with a tag team partner. <laughs> what kind of conversation starter is that? Hello, Sonia. How are you? There. I helped. 
Sorry, I just have some stuff on my mind. But with you and your partner, do you regret turning on her a few years ago? No. Because... I'm sorry, are we having a heart-to-heart -heart here? No, I don't regret it. You know when my career really started to take off? When I stopped playing nice and I started looking out for myself. And honestly, ultimately it worked out for her best interest too. Hey Sean, any chance I can pick your brain for some advice? Sure thing, kiddo. Always down to help. How do you know when it's the right time to make a big move? Even when it might go against company plans for you? Are you asking me as WWE VP of Talent Development? Or as the Heartbreak Kid? Right. Definitely as HBK. I'll be the first to say not to take anything too far. You don't want a reputation for having a bad attitude. Believe me, I know. I see. But sometimes sticking up for myself, <laughs> we'll call it that, worked out for me. When I was in a tag team, I leaned on my partner to make more of the decisions. Then one day, in a barbershop, I stuck up for my own interests. That was the beginning of a new chapter in my career. So what's the answer? I don't know, kid. I'm just an old timer waxing poetic about the past. But whatever you're thinking or doing, make sure you consider the consequences on all sides. I'm gonna tear Ava apart for what she did and said about me. If Ava wants to make more trouble, I'm not gonna wait until next week. I wanna hit her before she leaves tonight. That's my girl. And if you need help, I'll have your back. You'll have my back? Uh, how? You can't fight. Maybe not, but I've got a few other tricks up my sleeve. I'm not gonna let her call us both out and then just sit on the sidelines. You're lucky that Ava only suffered some minor injuries, and that it was your aunt who was driving the car and not you. We'd be having a very different conversation. If you'll recall, Ava started it. My memory is excellent, including my memory of your actions at day one. But it's clear to me that you two won't stop until you destroy each other. Destroying Ava works for me. Then let's at least get a SmackDown main event match out of this. And since you're determined to drive each other to hell and back, it's going to be the most brutal match in WWE. Hell in a cell. Perfect. And one more thing. I can't risk Justine driving into the arena and hitting anyone. Our event insurance is high enough as it is. She's barred from ringside, either on foot or in a motorized contraption of any kind. Fine by me. I don't need her help to take Ava out anyway. I don't know if you know anything about crypto, nor do I care. But the two names that keep getting thrown around are you and Alexa Bliss. Since, as I think I've made fairly clear, I don't have time to deal with all of this. If you want the job or honor, whatever it is, fight Alexa for it. Just the person I was looking for. What are you doing at SmackDown, let alone in here? Just popped over for a chat. Wondering why you're avoiding facing me in the ring. Haven't heard from you since you bailed on our match. I didn't bail. Ava attacked me. Well, it seems like that problem is solved now, doesn't it? Vehicular shenanigans and all. So what's the holdup? You're not too nervous to face me? Nervous? Yeah, right. But what's your angle here? Not like you to be so insistent about rescheduling a match. Let's just say that after you got distracted, there was an unhealthy amount of incorrect internet chatter about who would have won our matchup. I would simply like to set the record straight. I'm ready whenever you are. Although I'm not sure you'll be happy with what the internet has to say after I win. I don't intend to see that eventuality.
You here to complain about how that loss was unfair? Grow up, Charlotte. I don't want to hear whatever excuses you might have. I gave you the match you asked for, and I beat you. As much as it pains me to admit it, I will give credit where credit is due. You were better than I expected. Thanks? But can you blame me for underestimating you? I thought I was facing the same woman who absolutely choked on her nepotism-fueled debut at Survivor Series. That's the only reason I lost. Ah, here come the excuses. Will you shut up? I'm trying to compliment you. Am I mad you beat me? Yes. But I also see now it isn't nepotism that got you to where you are, it's talent. I know what it's like to be misjudged based on who you're related to. So I thought I owed it to you to say that. Is this actually an apology? Don't push your luck. And if you tell anyone I said those things, I'll deny it. But seeing as you're obviously talented enough to beat me, even if I had let my guard down, I was wondering if you might be interested in going to war with me. What do you mean? War games. Ronda Rousey put a team together and singled me out. I'm building my own team to take her on. Who do you have so far? Hopefully you. But after what I saw in the ring, I can't think of a better place to start. You in? Actually, yes. I am. Wow. Sure didn't think a couple of days ago we'd be teaming up. Neither did I. Actually, since I wasn't expecting to build a team with you, and I clearly haven't seen enough of your matches, it might be helpful to watch you in action against a few people. It'll help me figure out how to balance your talents to build an unstoppable team. Put me on the team and it's automatically unstoppable. But sure, why not? There's a local wrestler I'm trouncing on the next SmackDown if you want to stick around for that. Good enough place to start? Well, you certainly seem to know how to dominate in the ring. Well, that's the idea, right? I mean, it helps that those two wrestlers are still finding their footing, though I'd look just as dominant against a more seasoned opponent. Speaking of which, who's next? Nobody. I've seen enough. I know exactly who we should team up with. I'm all ears. The two women you just defeated. What? Why would we partner with wrestlers who couldn't even give me any more of a challenge? To go up against Ronda Rousey and her team? You cannot tell me there aren't better choices. And after watching you in the ring, you cannot tell me that we need the help. Look, I understand it sounds crazy, but we do this, it'll be clear that it's the two of us pulling the weight on the team. And no one will underestimate either of us for being products of nepotism. We'll be the two women who won war gains on their own two feet with only local talent to help them. It is pretty ballsy. You really think it's a good idea? Do you really think I'd set us up to fail? We've already got two alphas. We don't need more. I guess not. Great. Then let's make this official. And since you and I are going to be doing a lot of the heavy lifting, we should have a tag match against a couple of members of Rhonda's team, just to see how we work together. Just two? Might as well take on all four since that's basically what you're signing us up to do. Trust me, this is all going to work out. Oh, hey there. What's up? What the hell, Charlotte? Where were you for our match? You haven't figured it out? Knock, knock, hello. I set you up and you fell for it. What? My let's prove we can stand on our own two feet speech was pretty convincing, huh? I was right, you are naive. No way am I letting someone like you take my place at the top. And when you and your team of misfits fall to Ronda, the WWE Universe will see how weak you are. You're backing out of war games? Oh, I didn't say that. Raquel Rodriguez has a sore, I don't know, let's say back. So I'm switching sides and filling in for her. Rhonda and I have a complicated history, but I respect her way more than you. 
Management won't let you do that. Yeah, right. Like WWE doesn't just eat up this kind of drama. It's already done. Fine, but I know you've made more than enough enemies to make it easy for me to find a fourth member of my team. I'm insulted. You think I would leave you in the lurch like that? I already told management you found one. Fanny will be happy to fill in. Good luck, baby Justine. Your team is really going to need it. Well, I don't know how she did it, but Lacey Evans secured a candlestick endorsement deal. Now she's bugging me for a candlestick match every week. Interested? I'm looking for a superstar who can make her regret asking for that sort of match. A cinematographer friend of mine is filming an indie movie about astronauts going to Jupiter to take out an enemy cyborg base. He needs someone to help mocap a fight scene, and I told him I knew just who to ask. Thing is, you won't be able to do any top rope moves, or else the whole thing will look fake thanks to Jupiter's strong gravitational pull. Could be a fun opportunity. Interested? Look at your swag! I love the new look. After I saw you strutting around in it winning matches, I ordered one for every single member of my family. Nice! Don't you love how soft they are? Not really. Because they haven't arrived yet. I haven't even gotten any shipping info. It's not a scam, is it? You tell me if it was a scam, right? Wink if it's a scam. Fanny, relax. It's not a scam. Was that a wink or just a blink? They're just super popular and there have been a lot of orders. Yours will show up eventually, trust me. Okay, that makes sense. I'm sure everyone complaining about it online will understand. People are complaining? Yeah, but just explain it to them and I'm sure it will be fine. People are super understanding about that sort of thing. You have yourself a nice little snack today? What? Um, I guess I had a pretty good banana. Not too green, not too ripe. Wasn't bad. Enough with your banana babbling. I know you ate my oatmeal. Stole it from the fridge like a right little thief, didn't you? Why would anyone want to steal someone else's oatmeal? Because it's delicious, and I can smell it on your breath. I don't want your oatmeal. And I really don't like being called a thief. <laughs> if you want to continue this conversation, I'm happy to do it in the ring. Like I have time to mess with the likes of you. I've got big time stuff to do, let alone the fact that I've got to go out and get myself a new bowl of oatmeal. I'm far too busy. No thanks to you. Sounds like you're just busy running scared. But good luck with all that. Maybe while you're out, you can pick me up a bowl. Then I can see what all the fuss is about. Your tone is gonna get you in a world of hurt one of these days. Let me know when you're ready to apologize. Well, well, look who's come back around to make oatmeal amends. For someone so busy, you're sure spending a lot of time hanging around fishing for an apology. What do I have to do to get you to drop this? How about we get in the ring? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll make it quick. A uh, five minute match? Five minutes? I'd be happy to squeeze you in and grab a quick victory. After all, the goat doesn't need much time. See you out there. I'm getting torn about on social media thanks to you. I certainly hope you don't think we're finished. I do. In fact, I finished with you rather quickly. Only because it wasn't a normal match. Those were unfair conditions. Everybody should realize that. Becky, you should learn to accept defeat and move on. I'm sure everyone will forget about it soon. Other than me, I have to admit, I really enjoyed myself. I don't appreciate getting mocked. Not by you, not by that squeaky little runt Alexa Bliss. We're getting back in the ring. 
I've already got another match tomorrow night. Besides, I've got nothing left to prove. But good luck finding the real oatmeal thief and bringing them to justice. I'm getting my rematch one way or another. Well, well, well. Looks like we meet again. You finally gonna quit ducking me and face me in the ring? I don't know how many times I have to say this, Becky, but I'm not interested in giving you another match. Learn to lose gracefully and move on. You mess with the goat, and I'm not going away until I get my match. Every single time you turn around, I'm gonna be there. Is that supposed to scare me or something? I'm not giving you a match. Not phased by you. Aren't you? Because whether you want to admit it or not, I'm already inside your head. No, you're not. Aren't I? Because I think I've already weaseled my way in. Just you wait. You're gonna have nightmares about me. Sleep tight. There she is. The chicken still running from the goat. You know what? I'm done running. What changed your little chicken mind? Um, no reason. Doesn't matter. I just felt like crushing you in the ring. Why do I need a reason? Very interesting. But you don't. Just know the goat is going to step on your throat. The goat, the goat, the goat. I'm so sick of hearing about the goat. Are you gonna start braying next? You know what? Let's make it even more interesting. Loser has to dress like an actual goat for their next match. Hmm. I don't love the idea of anybody imitating my style, but in this case, I think I'll win and make an exception for you. Deal. Who is that? I can't see in this stupid thing. <laughs> wow! Let me get you a mirror. Or better yet, I'll take a picture. <laughs> Ugh, it's you! Well, you've made a massive mistake. Now you've given me even more fuel for my revenge. You have more than enough fuel by now, don't you? Don't stand near any open flames. You're the only one getting burned. You will experience a whole new level of humiliation after I'm through with you. More humiliating than it will be to wear that goat head in your next match? Good luck living that one down, Becky. People have been talking more about you since you got that bad attitude. You know, that you're too full of yourself and got here in the first place through nepotism. And people say that since you didn't travel the world paying your dues, you're not as well-rounded as they are. Although I think you could take on anyone, anywhere. Including anywhere in any arena. Enough wasting time on rivalries. I just got some intel. Management has just decided who's going to be Dewdrop's next challenger for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Is it... Me? No, but it can be. Whoever wins the Elimination Chamber match will take on Dewdrop for the championship at WrestleMania. And if we do things right, you may not even have to wait until then. What's that supposed to mean? Never mind the specifics. Are you ready to get started? You'll need to qualify for the Chamber match first. <laughs> Let's do it. There's no time like the present. Great. I'll talk to management and get you in a qualifying match. Man, is it nice to not have to do that myself anymore. Perks of having a manager, dear. I suppose you've already heard this from your aunt, but I've got a qualifying match for you tonight. The winner will be added to the Elimination Chamber. I'm guessing you already know the stakes? Winner gets a match with Dewdrop for the SmackDown Women's Championship at WrestleMania? That's right. You'll be competing against Indy Hartwell. Great. Shouldn't be a problem for me to win. No one on the roster is on my level. Ah, there's that new attitude. Still, even though your aunt is managing your business now, 
don't be a stranger, okay? Hey, there's something I think you should do in your match tonight. Win? Naturally, but really make an example of Indy Hartwell. I wasn't planning on taking it easy on her. No, I know. But Indy's been having some minor backstage squabbles with Dewdrop lately. Nothing truly notable, but stir the pot between them, and I think you can use it to your benefit. You've got a whole plan put together, don't you? Of course I do. Your last match was a little... extra. Listen, I meant what I said about fighting my battles. I can take care of myself. I know that. You're a strong, fierce woman and competitor who I greatly admire. So I definitely don't think you're so thirsty and insecure that you're creating all those Dewdrop fan accounts. And they said I'm doing that? Oh, that was the least of it. None of it seemed right, especially considering what's going on with Stephanie McMahon right now. What's going on with Stephanie? Wait, you don't know? I shouldn't have said anything. You've handled it well so far, so no reason for you to worry about it and be distracted. Tell me. Stephanie's been pretty vocal, at least around legends like my aunt. She thinks you're a terrible champion and is trying to do everything in her power to undermine you. She's even been asking management to put you in more difficult matches before your title defenses, so you're more likely to lose. I think that's why they're planning a handicap match for you next week. Why would they do that? I don't need to prove anything in the ring. I'm the SmackDown Women's Champion. I decide when and where I fight. It's all Stephanie. Although, I bet if I leverage my aunt's position as a WWE legend, I could get myself added to that match so it's not a handicap. I know it's unconventional, the two of us teaming up when I just qualified for Elimination Chamber, but I meant it when I said I admire you. It would be an honor for me to tag with you. That it would. Let's do it. That was a lot of fun. Stephanie was wrong about you. You're not a stumbling clown in the ring at all. What's her problem with me? I don't know. I just hope she doesn't go through with it. Go through with what? <sighs> me and my dumb mouth again. She really doesn't want you to be champion. In fact, she's coming to SmackDown next week to try to convince the rest of management to make the Elimination Chamber match for the championship itself. I guess she thinks someone can take the title off you sooner. She wouldn't dare. I know, Stephanie's pretty strong-willed. But maybe next week is a good opportunity for you to talk to her about it. I'm sure it's all a misunderstanding. You're not really a fashion challenge loser who can't even speak English properly. If you state your case in a strong and convincing manner, maybe she'll back off. Oh, I'll state my case all right. Seems like everything is going according to plan. Nicely done. Stephanie met with me after the attack and she's pretty fired up. I think it's going to work. Perfect. Get excited, because it's that time. Time for me to tell you about the Elimination Chamber preview match. What's the plan? Before the weekend's Elimination Chamber premium live event, we're holding a preview match on SmackDown, a six-woman tag. You, Dewdrop, and Lacey Evans versus Carmella, Bailey, and Zia Lee. Fine by me. 
I can't believe someone took out Lacey. I mean, kudos to them. I certainly benefit from her not being in the match. Sounds like whoever did it did a great job. Honestly, I'm a little jealous. They didn't even get spotted. Though remember, WWE is going to fill the spot. Might be someone tougher. True. I wonder if the person who took out Lacey is hoping for that final spot. If that's the case, you know my guess. What's your guess? Seriously? Hmm. Is there anyone who would benefit from an open spot in the match? Maybe someone who benefited in the past when a lighting rig fell on your tag team partner before the money in the bank match? Maybe you're right. Ava was pretty angry when Dewdrop was added to the chamber and they canceled Ava's qualifying match. Watch out. If it is Ava, she'll be gunning for you. I know that if I were her, I'd still be hungry for proper revenge. But we'll see soon enough how it plays out for Ava when WWE announces the final entrant. Dude, did you hear about this hashtag dark pod thing for the women's elimination chamber? There's gonna be like a whole human in one of the chamber pods, but it'll be dark, so we won't know who it is until it opens. Yeah, I've heard about it, Riddle. It's wild. There's a lot of rumors flying around about who's going to be inside, so I gotta ask, are you in the dark pod? Um... Me? Yeah, I won't tell if you are. I'm not in the dark pod, Riddle. Oh, okay. So I gotta ask, am I in the dark pod? You? I won't tell if I am. I don't think so, Riddle. Oh, okay. Good to know. Thanks, bro. I can't believe that more people aren't guessing that I'd be in the dark pod. Are you in the dark pod? No, but I should be. I'm the best thing this women's division has got right now. I shouldn't be left out of this historic match. Hey, you may not be in the dark pod, but at least you're not in a goat head. Rude. Can't say we've ever had anything like a dark pod before, and I've seen a lot around here. Actually, you do see a lot around here, Tom. Any chance you know who's inside that dark pod? Why would you think I know that? I don't think you know, Tom. I'm just asking. Nope. Huh. Never knew you to be so short. You usually have a lot to say. <sighs> Good luck out there tonight, LJ. Did you know? That Justine was in the dark pod? No. They kept that secret under wraps, even from me. But I could have told you not to trust her, even though it would have been hard to convince you of that. I can't believe it happened. And I was there, getting pinned. She's my aunt. I'm supposed to be able to trust family. I thought I was like family when we were partners. And you know how that turned out. But there is an upside to having lived through that experience. What's that? I can help you now. Listen, no one knows your aunt like I do. I remember what she was like when she was on the main roster. What got under her skin, her toughest opponents, her regrets, her weaknesses. If you're on a collision course with her now, and you seem to be, you'll want me by your side to give you the best chance to beat her and win the championship that should have been yours. The best way to take down your aunt is to make her confront the past. Confront the past. Interesting idea. I'll think about it. Well, that was one of the wildest things I've ever seen in WWE. 
You're telling me. I know she's your family, but I can't get over how these legends come in and trying to make everything about them. Why can't the older generation stand aside and let us have our shine? They already had their time. Justine certainly makes everything about her. But I don't care what kind of a miraculous recovery she may have had. Justine should have let me have my moment. Right? How can these WWE legends expect WWE to grow and move forward if they stay stuck in the past? I'm not the only one in the locker room who feels this way. If you need help with your aunt, you've got backup. But these legends think they're hot, but put them up against a faction of the top and upcoming current superstars and we shut them up real fast. We need to force them to embrace the future. Embrace the future, huh? You might have something there. Well, look who it is. A ding dong, get out of my locker room. Hi, Bailey. Here to steal someone else's sponsorship deal? Is that why you're after Lita? She's got one you want, doesn't she? Wow, you have quite a one-track mind, Bailey. So what? Don't need more than one track when it's the right track. I'll be watching you. Kind of creepy, but fine with me. You're more than welcome to watch me beat Lita. I hope you won't make a habit of being here on Raw. Nice to see you too, Charlotte. And don't try pulling what you pulled on Lita on me. First of all, you wouldn't succeed. I'd wipe the floor with you. But I'd rather not expend the minimal amount of time and effort it would take to do so. Right. We can agree to disagree. But don't worry. I don't have time for you either. I'm focused on other opponents right now. You know, ones that actually pose a challenge. If you need any advice when it comes to steel cage matches, I'm happy to help. It's one thing to take on a legend, but I've taken on a McMahon in a steel cage. Naturally, it was a memorable instant classic of a match. Wait, didn't you lose that match? Win, lose, who really remembers? Just don't let your opponent weasel out of their clothes to escape. That would be an embarrassing way to lose. You know, hypothetically. Right. I think I'm good on advice. Suit yourself. You know, provoking WWE legends is usually a bit frowned upon by management. I needed to get Lita's attention. Besides, another WWE legend provoked me first. As management are supposed to say, that's no excuse. Consider this a warning. And as Shawn Michaels, the heartbreak kid who's not WWE management? You certainly know how to entertain. And knowing Justine, I'm sure it's getting under her skin. Based on how much Justine's been mouthing off on her podcast lately, seems like what you're doing is working. Not that I had any doubt. And with WrestleMania right around the corner. What are you thinking? I think it's time I stop avoiding Justine. The two of us need a face to face and I know exactly where to do it. You planning on stealing my title tonight? Your title? I excuse me? Is the SmackDown Women's Championship yours? Calm down, kid. I'm not talking about a championship. I'm talking about my honorific title, Mr. WrestleMania. Wouldn't it be... You know what? Never mind. If you mean do I plan to have the match of the night, then yes. Justine won't know what hit her. That's what I like to hear. And you should obviously always be focused on winning your match, especially tonight with everything that's on the line for you. But don't forget to have fun out there too. 
I'll try. I'm not sure my aunt's betrayal has been particularly fun for me, though. I don't know, kids. Sometimes fun means being the daylight out of a once trusted friend or family member. WWE superstars, we are just built different. Thanks. I think. Seen a lot of people go out on the grandest stage of them all, but this feels different. Who are you rooting for, Tom? Ah, oh, LJ, don't ask me that. You know I love you both. I just want the two of you to sort this out. I don't know if that's possible. Justine gets bent out of shape about everything. You saw how she reacted when I dredged up her past and all the things that bother her. Hey, you're not perfect either, LJ. No one's forgotten what you did to your tag team partner. Point taken. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is that I know you can make it on your own. Even from your debut, you were confident and strong, wearing your own gear, rocking your own moves. But seeing you someday both move past this and work together, that would be something both the friend and the fan in me would like to see. We'll see, Tom. We'll see. I'm still not happy it's you and not me out there. But I do have a shared interest in seeing Justine lose the championship tonight. If she hadn't been in the dark pod, I would still be champion. So, good luck, I suppose. How big hearted of you. I'm just benevolent like that, I guess. Besides, you helped me with Stephanie. You were the only person who told it to me straight when everyone else was conspiring against me. Hey, I was right back when you started and I said we could be friends after all. Huh, I guess you were. You know, that's actually kind of sweet. And hopefully, I'll get to rightfully reclaim the championship from my friend very soon. If you win, your days as champion are already numbered. And there's the dewdrop I know.